Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about my first heartbreak and how I got over it and just some like advice and tips that I have for you guys in case you're going through a heartbreak right now. Um, I'm not going to get into like the full story just in case he's watching this video. That would be awkward. Um, so yeah, first I met him. Well, actually I met him my freshman year of college, but we didn't start becoming serious, I guess, until like my sophomore year or well, the summer going into sophomore year. Um, and then it was just kind of like always like BS with him, I guess. Like it was just always something. And then this past December, actually, um, he texted me and told me that he had a child on the way. So, <laughs> didn't know anything about, you know, this girl or just whatever. I was just so confused and I kind of stopped talking to him after that and he was very pissed off at me because I stopped talking to him, which... I don't know what he expected me to do and then actually pretty recently I want to say maybe like two months ago we got married to her so um yeah it was really kind of it hurt because he was also kind of like a best friend to me we talked about everything um whenever I was going through something he you know he was there for me so it really was kind of hard when all of these events transpired but um what I did to get over it was I kept myself busy. Um, honestly, I really just put everything that I had into my channel, um, into school. Just I kept myself busy. I blocked him on everything. I blocked his number. I blocked him on every social media that I had. Like I don't have him on anything. Um, just because I knew at that point, like when everything was happening, I knew that I was not ready to see it. So I didn't torture myself and I didn't put myself through that. So I just completely blocked him on everything. Um, if I was still following like his friends or something, I may have seen something like here or there, um, which was still kind of hard. But for the most part, I didn't see it coming from him. So, um, yeah, so pretty much. It got easier after a while, so that is true with time. It does get easier. You do start to feel a little bit better. Um, but when it first happens, you're just like completely devastated. You don't know what to do. Um, but now I'm at a point where I feel like I could have a conversation with him again and not, you know, feel like my world is going to come crashing down or something. Um, so, yeah, but he's still blocked. We do not communicate at all we have nothing to communicate about um he has a, a wife and a child so there's really nothing for us to talk about I mean when he did get married I did say congratulations and um that was the last thing you know that we've said to each other because I feel like out of respect for her um there's just nothing for us to talk about there's no reason for us to have a conversation so I have cut all ties with him which Again, it was kind of hard because there's sometimes when I go through things and I kind of wish that I had him to talk to as a friend, you know, because he did get really good advice. So that's the downside to it is if you do happen to um, fall in love with your best friend and then you lose them, you kind of don't have that person to talk to anymore. So it kind of sucks when you start to go through stuff and you really want someone to talk to when you don't really have that person there. So, so yeah, for me, it took, I want to say, a couple of months. I want to say, like, three months before I was 100% okay. Um, you know, it didn't, I don't get that little sting feeling in my chest when I see something or, you know. So, it took about three months for me. Um, everyone is different. I would say the biggest tip that I have is to, one, stay busy and really try not to think about it which is kind of hard because when you try not to think about something you think about it more but that's why you try to keep busy so there's other things occupying your mind and you just really don't want to give yourself the time to really think about that situation the second tip is is to block them on everything because if you know you're not gonna be okay with seeing the things that they post um whether it's just seeing them in general or if they got another girlfriend or in my situation a baby and a wife <laughs> Um, 
I would say just block them 100%. Do not put yourself through that. Do not torture yourself. You don't deserve that. So I would definitely just get rid of them. I would delete the text message thread. I would block them, delete their number, block them on all social medias. Like I would, I would do it all because that's what I did and it really did help me. The next tip that I have is to have some sort of outlet. If you cry, then I would suggest crying or if you need to talk to someone, talk to someone. I would just say let it all out. Don't bottle it up because you will explode sooner or later. So I definitely suggest like if you like, if you're crying makes you feel better, then, then I suggest you cry. I personally am not a crier. I do not cry. So, um, I really just talked about it with my friends and just kind of, you know, let out my anger and my frustration about how I felt about the whole situation. And they kind of just sat there and listened. They didn't really give me any input or anything. They really just let me vent. That's really what I needed. I really just needed to vent. I didn't need, well, you should have done or you could have done. Like, I really didn't need any of that. I really just wanted to vent my frustration and my anger and to just get it all out so I suggest you do that um if you have friends who are gonna put their two cents into every single sentence that you say I advise you to not vent to those people find people um who will just let you vent for like however long you need to vent to one big thing that I have that I tend to see a lot is do not use another person to get over someone that's not right that's not cool um you have to get over that person naturally do not bring somebody into you know the situation and try to get over your ex or whoever it was that's not okay because eventually they're gonna know that they're just being used essentially and um you're just gonna ruin your relationship with them and i just don't think it's right to use someone you just just get over the person on your own don't throw somebody into the mix and hurt them in the process because karma is a bitch i will say that karma is a bitch so you also have to keep that in mind really another tip that i have is just boss up i mean that's really like really just boss up i mean go out and better yourself not not because of them but for yourself so better yourself mentally physically spiritually all of that better yourself go out go treat yourself get your hair done get your nails done buy new outfits like do stuff for yourself again not you're not bossing up for them you're bossing up for yourself but that's like them seeing it is like an added bonus so go out and do something for yourself go out and get your hair done get cute and you know just do different things but people really hate to see you move forward people hate to see you move up so especially if they did you wrong it will really like they'll be like damn she wasn't doing that when she was with me or you know he wasn't doing that when he was with me you know what i'm saying so when you boss up and just change yourself for the better they kind of look at it as like well damn and of course you may have those exes that try to come back and no do not let them back into your life. It is a trap. It is a trap. Nothing good comes from exes coming back into your life. So leave them in the past. Especially if they hurt you. Like, if they hurt you to the point where you can't even explain what they did to you, don't take them back at all. Like, just, just leave them where they at, period. Another thing that is going to be easier said than done is try not to be bitter um, especially if that person has moved on and you know that they've moved on, try not to be bitter. It's not good for you. Um, it doesn't help you. It doesn't, you know, show them that you care about them and it makes them want to come back. Like it doesn't do anything but hurts you. Nobody likes a bitter person. So just try your hardest not to be bitter. And I know it's hard, especially when someone hurts you. It is extremely hard to not be bitter. Trust me, I get that. But you... I don't know just I try not to be bitter just try to move on from the situation and just just I don't know being bitter is just not cute and I see a lot of bitter like females and even men like a lot of bitter people in general and I'm just like oh my god like who hurt you it's it's okay you know you don't have to be bitter so yeah just just try not to be bitter um I know it's hard it hurts it sucks I get it I've been there I've done that I've bought the t-shirt but being bitter does not help your situation it actually just pushes away 
a potential person that could actually be a good person for you. Another thing that I will say is do not try to like avoid like places or things or whatever because you know that you might see them or you, you know don't don't do that live your life don't don't put your life on hold and avoid different things and different situations because you feel like you might run into them if you do run into them just keep it moving you know but you should not be putting your life on hold for another person um, I used to do that when I knew there would be an event that I just knew he was going to go to. I just completely avoided that event. And also, the more you avoid somebody, the more likely you'll run into them. Because there was the one time I just, I was like, I'm not going to go to the event. Because I know I'm going to run into him. But I'm going to go to the after party because he's not likely to go to the after party. Because that really wasn't like his scene. And I literally didn't even get into the door. And he was like right there. And I'm like what the fuck I was avoiding you all day I was doing so good and here you are in a place I did not expect you to be like so when you avoid somebody it just seems like you you, you just you run into them so don't avoid them just go wherever you're gonna go if you see them you see them whatever if not just keep it moving but don't put your life on hold trying to avoid situations and avoid people and avoid different places because you don't want to run into them no live your life live your best life do you do your thing whatever okay guys that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and i will see you guys in my next video